children passing out unexpectedly forced to make changes in their lives. They're actually suffering from POTS. This is a condition that News 5 investigators covered extensively after it began striking more dots during the pandemic. And now it's children and teens we're talking about. News 5's Tracy, News 5's Tracy Carlos looks at how local doctors are treating pediatric patients from around the country. Eva LeBeau is 16 years old, loves her family and hanging out with her friends, and she's passionate about art. Any form of art, like music, um, painting, drawing, macrame, um, anything I can get my hands on. Since I can't really do all the physical stuff, I do my best to still engage in something. The high school junior used to be very involved with gymnastics until... When I was a gymnast, I would... There was one time when I passed out on the bar. The Michigan teen came to the Cleveland Clinic to help figure out her health issues. Doctors discovered a genetic disease along with POTS. Everything will get dark. I'll feel like really, really lightheaded. I can like I can feel my heart beating like way too fast. Postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. It's a lot of words, but essentially what it means is, is that there's an out of control effect of the heart in response to trying to regulate blood pressure so the brain can function appropriately. For Eva, getting COVID made POTS worse. It was it was an ordeal. Um, the like respiratory blood pressure and heart rate and all that was just like, it was temperamental. It was unpredictable. Now doctors are seeing more cases of POTS in children and teenagers who had COVID. There's definitely been an uptick. Dr. Gary Butchko is a pediatric cardiologist at the Cleveland Clinic. The, the long haul clinic and the kids and adolescents that have this extreme prolonged uh, uh, effect from the viral infection seems to be more vulnerable to a dysautonomia or, or POTS or postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. For Eva, knowing her diagnosis is key to managing it and living a normal teenage life. In Cleveland, Tracy Carlos, News 5. If you would like to read more about POTS and how patients are finding support, we have posted Tracy's stories and linked to Jonathan Walsh's reports on News5Cleveland.com.